Anytime you build a race car out of a brand new road car that hasn't even been to the marketplace yet, there are some challenges. They wanted to really integrate the race car with the production car from the beginning. So we had numerous conversations back and forth, lots of data sharing from engineering, both in Hiroshima and here in California, really what the car needed to be, what class, what components were going to be stocked, well, how we're going to use it. So it's really been, you know, it's been a learning experience for us. It's been fantastic working with the quality people at Mazda. They built these cars in months, um, where some people take you know, over a year to develop it. I think that's just a testimony to what Sylvain's put together here at SpeedSource. I'm very proud to uh, join this team and a uh, brand new car and a brand new Skyac to diesel. I have big proud. I think I've never seen a race car who looks as closely uh, uh, like the, the everyday uh, road car. It's great to have this proximity between the two cars, but uh, still have a car who is performing really well. Another one of the Sky Active diesels with a problem, and they have removed him without having to go full, full course caution, and that is good news for the competitors. The best way to, to figure out what you need to do is to do exactly what we did today, is to go out with three cars and then push them as hard as we can, for as long as we can, see what the problem is, fix those and come back and see what else we have to work on. When we came here with the RX-8, our first year we had an issue, and over the second year we were pretty competitive, and by the third year we won the event. So it usually takes three to four years to figure out a new car, so we're right on plan. From the time that we left Daytona, uh, everyone had to turn the switch on in their mind that this is one step in a development project. This is what we signed up for. This is what the Mazda brand is all about. The engine production based, 63% by weight, uh, over 50% of the parts based on the production engine. The challenges we faced actually haven't been related to the production engine. They've been ancillary parts, aftermarket pieces that help make a race car what it is. We swept the front row as a team. Uh, the 70 cars first, we're second. Without question, when you see a result like qualifying it and know the hours and hours, both at the computer, on the engine dyno, on the chassis dyno, and the interactions between people who are on Mazda team, Mazda proper, the corporate side, and the speed source side, it's, it's very rewarding. And at long last, after that gamble by Mazda to bring together their Sky Active Diesel and put three cars on the grid at Daytona, they've met with one frustration after another. But here in round four, just the fourth start for this new car, they will break their string of frustration and pick up their first victory.